Hello Punishers and welcome back to the channel here. It's just going to be me for this one. Today we are talking about the brand new Carbon CC Pro Bottoms. So, if you guys remember, these are now the predecessor to the previous full leg version. This is now the third version that I can remember of any carbon legging type of protective bottom. But we're going to go over this today, talk about the differences, see how I feel about it, and talk about sizing. That's going to be probably my most important point today. If you do happen to like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, find us on social media, and when you're done watching and you want to pick one of these up, check out the description below to buy yours from Punisher's Paintball. All right, guys, so just getting right into this. Um, the packaging here is gonna be uh, virtually the same. I haven't even seen the old packaging in such a long time. I can't remember if this was sewn on or not, but it is still the same wash bag, so it's clear through, through here. It's that like kind of very, very see-through, very light mesh here that will help it air out while you're in transit going from playing to home. And then once you, you don't even have to take them out. You can just wash them in the bag if you really want. I might still suggest taking them out just to let them be fully extended and get let all the wash get through them. But you can wash them in this bag if you need to save space and keep it consistent, keep it um, you know all kind of grouped together. The zipper, same as before, still on an angle. All that has their little caution, safety warning, uh, garment wash, technical garment garment wash with care is what they say. They want you to read the washing instructions. But <clears throat> um, yeah, not really too much else to talk about as far as the packaging goes. So I'm gonna take one of these bad boys out. Let's go with. Uh, We'll start with the largest. So I have a large and an extra large here. I'm sure I'll fit one of the two of them. And they do also still have this styrofoam kind of backing here. You can remove that once you buy yours. It's no big deal. And there's still a carbon sticker in here <clears throat> that you can put on stuff, put it on your car, and let everybody know you're using the coolest brand in paintball. Alrighty, let's take a look at these. So guys, if, you're, if you've read anything about these, the point is that these are cut off more. These are now a shorter pant. You can think of it as like a Capri that uh, the 2000s Karens would wear a lot when it was hot outside. <clears throat> the padding, from my memory, feels a little less stiff, a little not quite as thick on the sides where the hips go. Uh, as far as the upper part of it. And then as you go down to the leg, see it's all down on the side here. Pretty good coverage, and actually, I think they made it wider here around what will wrap around like the side of your knee here or so. <clears throat> I think they made that wider to kind of give more coverage. The knee itself is a harder pad and has a this like stronger, kind of more double woven material over the actual knee because that's going to get a lot of wear and tear. And then right here, it cuts off, and it feels like this is not so. If you guys remember with the old pants, I had spoken about there was like a seam that I said to make sure you get above your calf. It doesn't seem like as much of a thing, like it's not going to be as aggressive of a grip and like cutting off blood flow kind of thing. So I, I will call that a good thing. So far, this sound, this looks pretty good. The material feels pretty light, doesn't really feel too heavy, stretchy, go with you. It does still have a crotch pad, thankfully. Uh, let's see, nothing on the kind of butt region, but don't really need that anyway because you kind of have your pack hanging over that. And then the elastic for the waist, I mean... This seems like it'll have good hold, but not be like so gripping to you that it'll break skin by any means. So I'm curious what will fit best for me. Again, these are the largest, these here. I'll try both on just so we can kind of get a look at both. Um, but for reference, <clears throat> I stand about five foot eight, about 210 pounds, so a little thicker than I really should be. But um, for the sake of sizing, I think it's important for you guys to see this on someone who, honestly, I feel like my height is pretty comparable to most players. Uh, it's just the, the the width of a person will be the the difference maker here. But without any further ado, I'm gonna get naked. All right, so here I have I put on the larges. So uh, again, I'm not the skinniest out there for my height. I'm working on it, but these do, honestly I could get away with here. I'll even kind of like it's not really digging in too hard by any means. Um, I could get away with this honestly. This would. If you told me, you know, for whatever reason, sponsorship, you have to play larges, which I don't know why you would tell someone what size I have to wear. If this is all they had left and I had to wear larges, this would be completely fine. So this is not restrictive or very tight at all. I might still recommend getting it up above that main hump in your calf. So if you see here, it's still kind of on mine. It's not bothering me right now, but I think that it probably still be best to just get it up above. But truly, not 
really very restrictive. It's not nearly as bad as the seam on the other ones, on the, the full pant leg that just came out about a year ago. Um, the knee pad, pretty well encompassing on my knee. <clears throat> like my knee itself is here, the pad goes out to about here. So we got some really good coverage on that. It goes up to here, goes down about as far as here, underneath my knee. So I would say that's pretty solid. It does still have padding on the side here as well for if you are taking a, like a lateral slide <clears throat> and you tend to scrape, that'll get you protected. The padding stays going this way. Now, I, I think this is personally really well contoured for where you would realistically land doing a lateral slide coming in that way. I, I think this is pretty sweet. And then just looking again here, it's like, if, so this is completely the side of my leg. This is my you know, butt. This is the front. This leans toward <clears throat> the butt, but I think this is, again, where most people are going to be having that, that drag on the ground. So I think these are quite nice. Does still have the cross pad as well. Not super thick, but it's certainly better than nothing. Um, yeah, I... I would say these are these are pretty good uh, for the these are larges as well. So again, five eight, about two ten. Larges are feeling just fine on me. I'll still try the XLs just to do a little bit of a comparison. But as far as like tightness or anything like that, like they're 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 pretty at their probably limit. And it's probably a little further than go because they don't feel like they're digging by any means. But yeah, I'm gonna try on the XLs and uh, see how much better or different they feel. All right, guys, got the XLs on. Um, Immediately, you'll see a lot more kind of slack in these for me and with the we'll do the old hip test too Like that's not that can stretch way further than what it's currently at <clears throat> It does make the pads kind of bunch up a little more probably because I'm not quite tall enough to really fulfill the need Like if I so I cinched them up a little bit if I were to pull this down to where it's all long like this There is still padding covering my knee, but that padding is more so meant for what's going to be like on the side of here and like getting into the hips. So to, in order for the knee pad itself to properly cover me as standing five foot eight wearing the XLs, I do have to kind of pull it up a little bit, which causes a little bit of a bump. I don't really care because for how much more comfortable it makes the rest of this feel. <clears throat> Personally, if I were to use these five, eight, two, 10, I would get the, um, the XLs. But if I do lose the 25 or 30 pounds that I would like to lose in the next couple of years, I would really recommend the largest probably for being my height. And at that point, that weight, like what I remember kind of weighing in college. So, uh, but this still totally works, still comfortable. The padding, like once I slide this up, everything is still where it was on the previous size. Still right here on the back of the hip, kind of getting toward the buttocks, <clears throat> all the way down the side of the leg. Like everything is still just fine. Just a little more bunched up right about here in the, in the knee area. But yeah, I don't, <clears throat> I don't think the XL is a bad move at all, but definitely going to be more beneficial if you're taller. Uh, the XL is not going to be kind to anyone less than 5'8", because even at 5'8", I have to make the compromise of <clears throat> kind of cinching it around here. But again, that's not a deal breaker for me. If I were to buy these, I would go with the XL. Breathability, though, after putting them on, not, I don't know. Doesn't feel quite as breathable as the other ones, even though it's probably the same material. I'll have to look into it, but I don't know. Uh, I feel like there might be another version that comes out that is lighter in all of this, and I wonder if they had to compromise for the fact that there's nothing to really anchor it to have a slightly heavier, heavier material to like hold it to people. I'm not sure, but I wasn't there in the production room. But it doesn't feel like the most breathable thing, but. Not the end of the world either. This is certainly not the 2005 gigantic space pants that we used to wear. But uh, let's bring the table back out. Alrighty, so I tried them on. Uh, both are very comfortable size-wise. The large will still work, 5'8", 210. The XLs absolutely work. It's a little more comfortable, but lengthwise, I can see myself running into kind of an issue. So I did want to also bring up price point. These are going to come in just over 100 bucks, about 105 bucks to pick up a pair of these bad boys. Uh, which, I mean, for what you're getting, think about it. You're getting really a pair of slide shorts and knee pads and this extra, like, side protection plus cross protection, and it's all in one, super comfortable. Um, I don't really think that's too bad of a price to pay. I think that's pretty fair, pretty justified, especially the quality at which the Carbon puts their products out. Um, my only issue really is just breathability, but <clears throat> even with their more breathable other uh, leggings that they've had, that's always gonna be an issue when you wear one big self-contained thing such as this. So um, that can be a little bit up to kind of user preference. Uh, but if I were to 
want something that was contained all in one. I really like that they cut the. I, I think cutting this off, the, off the, the the length of the rest of the pant. I think that was a great move. That does save you on some heat. You know, still so leave somewhere else for you to vent out into your actual pants that you're playing in. And yeah, I just honestly, I think these are a good idea. It's a good investment uh, if you want to just have everything be self-contained all in one. The padding is good. It's thick, but it's not overly thick. It's very dynamic. It'll move with you, I think, in my opinion. Um, and I like that they took the extra care to reinforce the knees like this as well. That's, uh, once again, carbon, always good quality. Really thinking of the consumer when they make anything. But guys, if you like this, please let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you have them already, definitely tell us your, your opinions. Or if you have the old pair, tell us that this is the improvement that you'd kind of like to see. If you want to pick one of these up, just remember, the link in the description is so you can buy them right here at Punishers. We'll catch you next time. I'm so free.